Cindy here with Bubble Hunter Soaps. Today is the second in the new men's line, the second soap. Um, today's soap is called Grease Lightning and it is scented with Flaming Candle Genuine Leather. This scent smells like you just walked into a leather shop. It is awesome. I love leather. I love the smell of leather. In here I have my coconut oil, palm oil, and certified fair trade shea butter. And that's my typical recipe. In my liquid oils I have over here, I have my olive oil, castor oil, and hemp seed oil. In this blue pitcher, I have beer. I'm replacing the water 100% with beer. I have not let this go flat. I just poured it into the container. Um, if you watched the last video, which I will tag up in the top, um, it worked just fine when I added the lye to the beer, even though it's not flat. I am going to be cautious, I'm going to go really slow, I'm going to turn the music on and I'm going to put my respirator on and enjoy the music. See that smoke? It is awesome, it's so cool. This fizzing. Sorry, I do have to keep my respirator on. It is fizzing, but it is not coming up. The pitcher is actually staying pretty low. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my hard oils and my butter. This will get thick, just as an FYI. It did last time. I get my stick blender and help it along get the rest of those chunks out. See, as you can see, it's really thick. But we can work with that. I'm gonna go ahead and take my respirator off. I'm gonna grab my liquid oils. In here, I have my olive oil, gastro oil, hemp seed oil, and my kaolin clay, buttermilk powder, and sodium lactate. I'm gonna do a quick little buzz. I'm gonna go ahead and add them to my hard oils and my butter. Get the stick blender in there and get them all mixed together. And as you can see, the stick blender, the, the liquid oils did loosen it up a little bit. It's still quite thick. So I think what I'm gonna do, I was originally gonna do three colors. I don't know about that. I think I might stick with two on this one. I'm gonna put my fragrance oil in there. Like I said, this is called Genuine Leather. It is from um, Flaming Candle. And it says, 
The fragrance note says the familiar scent of fresh leather, clean and nostalgic. Top notes are leather, middle are cedar, and bottom are musk. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that in. And Flaming Candle doesn't have any um, soaping notes. So I do not know if this is gonna accelerate it any more than it already is, or if it's going to behave um, what it's gonna do. But we're taking the chances and we're going with it. I'm just gonna hand blend that in. If it does accelerate, I'm just gonna use one color. Oh, that just smells so good. Love the smell of leather. Yeah, it's going really fast here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my activated charcoal. We're gonna go with black. I'm gonna get the stick blender in there. We're going to get this in the mold. So those of you that want to use genuine leather in your soap from Flaming Candle, um, would not recommend other than the scent. It is Blending okay, but I think I might blend it a little bit more. It is chunky. I'm gonna go ahead and blend a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and flop it into the mold. Nothing spectacular with the with the look of this one but it sure smells good wow that is thick I'm gonna bang it down here it's almost turned like a green color kind of a greeny gray See that? I have some that isn't mixed at all. Scent is still amazing. I would not recommend this for a cold process. Bear with my banging. I'm hoping I don't have a lot of air pockets in there. That's part of what happens though. I apologize if you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get it all into the mold. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna close that curtain and give you a little better of a view here. So that is Grease Lightning. Genuine leather from uh, Flaming Candle. It does accelerate. It moves very fast and it does rice, but it smells great. We'll just do a quick little swirl on top just to give it some kind of a design. So we'll just go, oof, look at that. That is it. Racing. I don't think that's going to look very pretty. Maybe I'll do a scoop. Let's try spoon swoop. So you got to improvise as you go. Oof. I don't think it's going to look pretty no matter how I do this.
like I'm gonna have to call it because there is no way that that's gonna be any prettier. Um, it's too thick. It'll go through its saponification. It'll look fine in the end. There you go. Grease lightning, genuine leather. I'll bring you back for the cut. Hey everybody, I'm back to cut grease lightning. Now this one was um, difficult to say the least. So it is kind of a greenish color. You can see by that crack right there that it did overheat and all those air pockets, I'm not too worried about it. And you can see that it did discolor somewhat to purple and it never did change back. So hopefully the inside isn't purple. I guess if it is, it is. So let's go ahead and get cutting. This is Grease Lightning. And of course, I modeled this one, or it was supposed to be modeled after John Travolta with his black leather jacket. And the scent is Genuine Leather from the Flaming Candle. There are a lot of air pockets. I can see that already, but not worried about it at all. Color was Activated Charcoal. And as you saw, it did get very thick. So I, you'll see some of it didn't color, didn't get color in it at all. Um, and that's because of the thickness of the soap. What I'm gonna do is with these air pockets, I'm gonna use those end pieces. So I'm not gonna have any uh, sample pieces, but I'm gonna use those end pieces and fill those holes so that it doesn't look so um, pocketed. wish it was a little darker. But all in all, it's not too bad. At least it's not purple. It's kind of a greenish gray. Yeah, it just accelerated and I might just uh, try and get that little piece out of there. next time because this one was definitely a learning experience the next two in the line i will be melting the butters and the oils beforehand and i'm definitely take not taking the chance i'm also going to um let those beer, the beer, sit and get rid of the carbonation. And I am considering cooking it off, cooking off all the alcohol on it too. Just because I have some other ones that are gonna probably accelerate on me based on the same fragrance notes. But the beer is supposed to make the soap have some excellent lather. So I might do a lather test too at the end of the last video. This one still smells like that genuine leather. It's not real strong, but it's, it's there. I'm glad it's not real strong. Yesterday, with all of the scents, because I made two soaps in one day, um, I did start to get a little bit of a headache, so it was, it was kind of a, it wasn't fun, but 
Nothing much to see with this one because it is just the one color. I was hoping to have the two colors or three colors, but with that acceleration, it just was not going to cooperate. My goal was to have the blue for blue jeans and the black for the leather jacket. And I was hoping to have white for his white t-shirt, but it is what it is. It is soap, so it'll still clean me, clean you. Still smells good. And uh, that's all that counts. So there we go. There is Grease Lightning. Part of the, the second soap in the men's collection. And I will see you the next time for the next video. Thanks for watching.